everybody and welcome back to the King Fox channel. My name is Matt Conniger and I'm building a Kit Fox Model 7 STI. It's been a little while since my last post. I've got the holiday season here and I've been busy doing holiday stuff. So I know you've all been chomping at the bit for this next video and so don't have to hold your horses any longer. I'll be working on the elevator installing the ribs. In the next video we'll be varnishing the horizontal stabilizer and the, and the elevator. So I won't talk too much right now and I'll just get right into the video. Thank you and I hope you enjoy. So the book says to clean with denatured alcohol, then you scuff the metal, and then you get a final cleaning with denatured alcohol. So that's what I just did was the first cleaning with the denatured alcohol, and I had everything marked out for the manual, where to where to put the where to put the ribs. And when I did the when I did the horizontal stabilizer, my I was concerned about wiping my marks off, but as I can see, they you can wipe them off and you still see them, except for one over here, which actually disappeared quite well. Um, but all the other ones seem to be staying, and and the rib doesn't come all the way around, so you don't necessarily need to clean that area yet because you're not going to epoxy that area. I'm going to try to glue a little bit differently on the tail and use a little bit less glue because the glue is very strong, and since the Horizontal stabilizer was my first glue job. I actually, I glued the stiffeners on the side of some of the ribs first um, because I wanted something easy to do to get used to mixing the glue and adding the flocks to the, to the two part adhesive and it seems like it was pretty simple so I just went ahead and let those dry overnight and then the next day I came in and, and glued the ribs in and now that piece is hanging here so it'll sit for several days before it's totally cured and then I'll move on to the next piece. So now I'm going to start scuffing the paint where my lines are and then I'll hit it again with the denatured alcohol and then I'll mix up some glue and start gluing. marking some areas on these uh, these pieces of metal where I'll actually put my glue fillet between the rib and the metal in the center so those ribs will not need stiffeners. Any other ribs that go um, in between are pretty flimsy so they're, they're strong vertically but not horizontally so I'll put a stiffener on all of those and I have my stiffeners cut here but I'm going to glue those on afterwards because I think I'm going to use a little different method and use less epoxy which will be better.
too hot and turned off, so I had to go to Old Trusty, the Hero 3. Um, it's, it's only 91 in here, so I don't know why it's too hot. I'm not. But I'm getting ready to mix up to adhesive. Uh, I'm going to start a little bit different approach. This time I'm going to apply the adhesive to the actual inside of the rib, put the rib on, clamp the other end where it needs to be. I can come back and put a dab on the other side. And then tomorrow I'll flip it over and put a dab on the other side. I'll just mix up a little bit of glue. I'm getting a little bit better, but proportions are a little bit difficult to, to figure out when you're going into syringes um, and you measure each part by weight. So I have a little cooking scale. I use grams, so 10 grams of one, 10, 10 grams of the other. And then you add your flocks in pretty much so it doesn't get runny. Mix it up thoroughly and the flocks is pretty easy to mix up. I was concerned about that at first, but it's powdered cotton. All of my ribs I've marked on the top with the dot because I have each one has to be sanded and fitted to its proper location. So as I learned on the uh, horizontal stabilizer, which I did mark them all, but I did it after I after I installed my rib stiffeners and a couple of my stiffeners almost were in in a location that I couldn't install the piece. Hello, I'm back. Um, getting ready to glue up this uh, this half of the of the tail. So uh, did the other half. Went to dinner. Now it's time to keep rolling. of the first one and five grams of the other on the previous mix I did 10 and 10 and it would have been plenty to do the whole all the ribs on here but obviously still would have been too much and since I had to go to dinner you get about 15 minutes of use since it's still 82 degrees in here I might get a few more minutes but uh, you don't need much it seems like it would be Seems like you can mix it all up and uh, you're not going to have enough, but once you actually start applying it, you really don't need very much. So I'm trying to mix less and less and come up with a, a good number. Try a five and five and a little bit of flux and see how that works out. And I'm going to use a smaller syringe. Try to get my fillets a little smaller. But that side is sat for probably two hours and they're already, they're already pretty stiff.
little difficult to see, so I just measured it to make sure it's parallel to this other room. guys like what you saw i will uh, try to get a little bit more detailed as i move forward with making more videos thanks for watching and if you haven't already go ahead and like and subscribe stand by for more rich future content on the king fox channel thank you bye bye